Welcome, welcome to Chateau de Montmartin, where today I'm going to present you a very specific bedroom. Actually, this is an understated word for the wedding or the marital, the marital suite. I'm actually currently building a marital suite within my castle, which will host the couple that will be married <laughs> in my castle. So the main idea was to provide a fantastic and very big and very old and charming suite for the marital couple. So we're talking here about a bedroom itself that is 40 square meters, that has a very old and antique, 300 years old wooden floor, a marble chimney that will have a fantastic chandelier, a crystal chandelier, and that is connected to a very big and nice bathroom that I'm currently restoring also, that will be about 25 square meters, so a very, very big bathroom. All of that only for the single use of the marital couple. So let me present that to you. Late evening of work in the chateau, as usual. Um, today I'm going to present to you the wedding suite, the marital suite, or in French, as we say, la suite des mariés. Basically, the bedroom with the included integrated bathroom for the couple that will get married in the chateau. As you can see, just before I enter the bedroom, it's a huge mess everywhere. <laughs> I've got this table standing there, a door here that needs to be put somewhere, um, the glass for the shower, yeah, the actual, um, I don't know, the actual, what, water receiver? Is that the English word? I don't know. Uh, put it in comments, uh, that will help me. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, I bought a big one, uh, 90 centimeters times 140 centimeters, kind of a comfortable version. So that I'm sure will be appreciated by the wedding couple. And entering now the marital suite. Here we are. Yes, maybe you can hear some echo. Uh, that's normal. The bedroom is 40 square meters big. So it's a very big bedroom. And next to it, I'm building the bathroom. I'm going to show that to you in some minutes. So before that, as you can see, a lot of work ongoing here. So I'm going to switch the camera and show you some details. Here we are. So that's something I'm currently building. It's uh, in French, we would say baldaquin bed, a lit à baldaquin. So it's this kind of um, this kind of bed with a. Uh, with this, um, this ceiling on the top uh, in wood, these four pillars. So this is just the structure. What is important now is to put some, um, some nice, uh, uh, I don't know which word to say, uh, kind of textile, tissue, carpets, all of this nice, all of nice fabrics, curtains, maybe that's the word, some nice curtains all around. Um, to have it look nice. I have built it uh, in a very wide um, dimensions. Uh, so it's a two by two meters bed. So definitely a king size bed. So that's one thing. Then we have the floor. I haven't touched it yet. This is 300 years old. This very um, old and wide and big piece of wood. I haven't touched it yet. I may just varnish it or oil it, something like that. I will not do much. Then you have all the boiserie, so the wooden panels on the walls all around, um, all around here. As you can see, they are currently pink. This is a mistake. Uh, we actually made a mistake by mixing up some colors and it turned out uh, the pink I've just presented to you. So we're going to modify that to make it, in French we would say taupe. Taupe is a color that is very difficult to describe. It's a mix between pink, brown, purple. Something white in the middle 
Um, and we, it's a kind of a modern color, to be honest, but we, we think it will suit well the, the womb. Um, and here I'm going to put some uh, golden um, color on it, basically on each part of the wood that is curved like this. As you can see here, here, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do this one, the one that is the more um, down in curved, um, or the one that is popping out, or the second one, I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to paint. Uh, in theory, the easiest is to paint the one that is down there, that is the most inside, in theory. Um, I haven't decided yet, it needs to be nice. Uh, I have a lot to paint in gold. I did it already in a living room that I have on the ground floor. So same story here. I haven't decided for the windows if I'm going to paint them white or if I'm going to paint them in the same color as the wooden panels. This is something that is unclear. Another thing is here, I need a nice big and fat golden mirror. This is missing here. Here you can see the chimney, the marble chimney looking super nice, which is half pink, half white beige. That's kind of cool. So overall, I'm going into a corner so you can see the entire, the entire room. We're talking about a very big room. I did already the ceiling, not perfect yet. I need to do a final sanding and final painting to have it nice again. And of course, a nice big crystal chandelier will be put in the middle. So yeah, that's basically the main, uh, of course, for the moment it looks horrible, uh, let's be clear. Uh, but when the bed will be done, when the boiserie will be painted uh, in taupe plus the golden stripes, um, when the floor will be oiled, and when I will have put probably on this wall um, a very big... What's the word? It's a bit like a carpet, um, but it's... Yeah, it's basically some textile but of a, of a scenery and I'm gonna build the frame actually and, uh, and put that on the wall uh, that will look super nice. Ah, that's something I did also. I did this, I did this, um, this material on the, on the wall, the same usual one. I think it's called stucco. Someone told me that in a previous comment uh, that I have put already uh, many times in the chateau. I like it because it has this old yellowish color at the same time it's something that is acrylic completely new modern uh, fits well to a wall hide all the little mistakes but at the same time um, it's still flat but with this old um, finish when you touch it i really like it okay moving on to another room the bathroom switching the camera and i'm entering the bathroom, left, toilet, I'm starting with the least interesting, here we have a toilet, a rather big one to be honest, with as ever, as always in this chateau, uh, a ceiling that is, uh, first floor we are lower than 4 meters, we are actually 3 meters 50 I think, something like this. Then this first uh, podium, Two steps, why? Because the shower, big shower will be put there with the receiver, a very big glass wall. Um, and then of course, um, this thing, oh sorry, I forgot the name. This thing will be put on the, on, on the wall. With my, with my wife, we, we decided to, to buy something rather, rather intemporal, rather, um, uh, that's something that would suit well time. We hope that in 10 years it will still look completely fine. And now the other side of the bathroom, maybe the masterpiece of this bathroom, a podium and a bath 
with some feet. <laughs> yeah, the whole idea was, let me explain it to you. The whole idea was to be able to take a nice little bath in this bathtub, but having a view, so we needed to put it up. At the same time, with all the sewage pipe, I didn't want to dig into the nice wooden floor, which will be, co will be covered, by the way. I've bought some material that is uh, absolutely replicating wood, but that is in plastic. Uh, very nice one, actually. So that will help a lot with the floor. So um, yeah, with the flooring. Here, so again, two steps to match the, the steps that, um, that are on the other side of the bathroom for the shower and this nice little bathtub that is, um, that is completely new but with a very old, uh, old look. And now we are in the night, so there is nothing to see through the window. And uh, last thing is uh, here, I have found in my attic um, a very old uh, sink that was in perfect shape. So the plan is, is to use that and put it here and maybe with a golden mirror or something over there. Again, a big bathroom. We're talking about 25 square meters, I think, here. Uh, basically the size more, of, more than a student flat in Paris, actually. But yes, something very nice with uh, three big windows again. So basically all the, um, all, the, all the couples that come here and visit my chateau, they just love it. That's it. That concludes um, the presentation of the, the wedding suite. I um, will do a video, of course, once I will have worked a bit more in this bedroom. Um, all of that is expected to be finished in about two months. So stay tuned and you will see the final version of this marital suite. Bye bye.